today's video, I'm gonna discuss six exercises that you can perform in six minutes to help strengthen your core. So we know that core strength is very important in relieving lower back pain, but it's also very important in improving your posture and help build balance. So it's very important that you perform these exercises on a regular basis to help strengthen the core. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate those exercises, how to perform them, go over some common mistakes, and how to correctly perform these exercises to help strengthen your core. To perform the dead bug exercise, what I'm gonna have Renee do is she's gonna lay on her back. I wanna put a pillow underneath her neck just to reduce uh, strain on her neck. And I want her to bring her arms straight out in front of her. And then I want her to bring her legs up to a 90 degree angle. Now with all these core exercises, again, I want you to brace your abs as if someone's about to punch in your stomach or think of it, bring your belly button toward your spine. So maintain that contraction while we're doing the exercise. Now to perform the exercise, I want her to bring her right arm above her head and then straighten her left leg. It's that cross pattern like that and that's gonna activate the core. And now she's gonna go left arm above her head, right leg down and go through this nice and slow and then go opposite way. Now what we wanna do is we wanna do about 10 to 12 repetitions for the dead bug exercise. The next core exercise we're gonna perform is called the front plank. So what Renee's gonna do, she's gonna rest her forearms in front of her on the ground. Her feet are gonna be together and what she's gonna do, is she's going to push up so her body is in a nice straight line. So feet together, what I want you to do is to push your body up and I want her, again, to maintain that good core activation as she's holding this position. And you should see her shoulders, her hips, and her legs are in a nice straight line. Now what you wanna do is you wanna work up to holding this for 30 to 45 seconds and do that two to three times. And that's a good front plank. And again, the key though is that core activation before you get into that position and then maintain that nice straight line. Go ahead and push up again for me there. Again, activate that core up like that. Now a lot of times if you're weak, you'll start to see the, you'll slouch in your core and you can relax there, or you'll start to compensate, you'll drop your upper body, your head forward, try to maintain that good posture. And if you can only go 10 to 15 seconds, that's fine, do three repetitions there, but work up to holding it for 30 to 45 seconds. The next core exercise we wanna do is the side plank. And this is gonna be the harder version of the front plank. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay on her side, so she's on her left side. I want her to put her forearm and elbow flat on the ground. And at this point, she's gonna activate her core and she's gonna drive her hip up so she's in a nice straight line. So go ahead and push up, hold that position. Again, back is nice in a straight line and she's not sagging or dipping down and she's gonna hold that for 15 to 30 seconds. And you can relax down. Um, the keys with this one, again, you don't wanna sag, you don't want your upper body to go forward, you wanna be in that nice straight line. Now, if you have a hard time doing it in that position, what we can do is we can push off from our knees instead of our feet. So what she's gonna do, she's gonna have a slight knee bend, and then she's, again, gonna activate that core, and then she's gonna drive her hips off the floor. And again, hold that for 15 to 30 seconds, and then repeat two times on each side. The next core exercise we're gonna do is called the bird dog exercise. So what Renee's gonna do, she's gonna be on her hands and her knees and at 90 degree angle with her knees. And what we wanna do is we're gonna extend the left arm and then we're gonna extend the right leg back. So go ahead and extend that arm nice and slow and then come back down and now repeat on the other side. So right arm out, left leg back and come back down. And again, while she's doing those exercises, she's activating that core, bracing her core and that will help to activate that core and to help strengthen that. Good. She, you can see she's going nice and slowly through this. Her hips or pelvis are not rotating as she's going through the exercise. Her low back is nice and flat. Like imagine you're putting a water bottle on your low back and it should not move at all. Um, that tells us you're doing a good core activation and you're doing the exercise correctly. We wanna do 10 to 12 repetitions on each side and then do two sets of 10 repetitions. The next core strengthening exercise we want to do is called the glute bridge. To perform the glute bridge, what we're going to do is she's going to lay on her back, put a pillow underneath her neck to reduce the neck strain. And what we want to do is we want her legs bent up and what she's going to do, she's going to brace her core and then she's going to drive her hips off the ground. And what we should see is her shoulder, her hip and her knee are in a nice straight line. Okay, Renee, let's have you brace your core and then drive your hips off the ground. Perfect, and then hold that position for 10 to 15 seconds. And what we wanna do is we wanna do 10 repetitions for two sets. Again, brace and then drive straight up. 
So the sixth core exercise we're gonna do to help strengthen our core is we're gonna do what they call a Paloff press. Now you can do this either with a band or you can do it with a cable machine. To perform this exercise with a band, what it's gonna look like is I'm gonna have Renee grab the end of the band with two hands. I want you to uh, turn and face this way. And she's gonna start with the band close to her chest. I'm gonna be the resistance. Now imagine this is connected to your door. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna extend her arm straight out in front of her as I'm pulling towards me. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna activate those cores and pull on the oblique muscles, which is gonna help strengthen her core. And again, she's going nice and slow as she extends her arm out and then come back down. And I want you to do 10 to 12 repetitions on each side. So again, we're, again, we're just doing the, the one side, so you gonna switch it up and do the other side. So Renee, let's have you switch it up and do the other side. So same thing. Um, band close to your chest. Again, I'm providing that resistance and she's just going to extend her arms out. Perfect. And again, remember before we go through those exercises, we're going to brace our abs as if someone's about to punch us in the stomach. And that is a great activation technique. And we're going to extend our arms straight out. Good. For 10 to 12 repetitions, do that on each side for two sets.